I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a ziggurat. I take one finger at the top underneath and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line out on the left, come back to the dot, straight line out on the right. Come back to the left, straight line down, little straight line in, come on the right, straight line down, little straight line in. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a big curve line, connect. We're going to draw another curve line around that curve line. We're mimicking it. Now, come back to the top of the left and we're just going to draw a straight line on the left, straight line on the right, straight line, connect. Come down and now we're going to draw a straight line out on the left straight line out on the right, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Come back up to the top and we're going to draw a straight line all the way across left to right. In the center lined up with the curved lines we're just going to draw a straight line down, jump over, straight line down. Come back to the left, draw a straight line across, little straight line down on the left, little straight line down on the right. Come back and draw on the left, straight line all the way across. Come over on the left, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Come back to the left. Draw a straight line, leave it floating, come on the right, straight line, leave it floating. Because right here lined up with this, we're going to draw a straight line down on the left and a straight line down on the right. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a straight line out on the left, straight line out on the right. Straight line down, leave it floating on the left, straight line down on the right. Come over here back in the center. I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line. Come back to the left, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, straight line across. Come back to the left again. Straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Right here in the center like we did on top, curve line, leave it floating, curve line again, leave it floating. Come back to the left, draw it straight down, draw it across, keep going, keep going, straight line up. Right here in the center, we're going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. On the right, draw a straight diagonal up, straight line up, move over, straight line down, straight line down off the page. Come over to the, the left, we're going to draw straight diagonal out, down, come up, straight diagonal out, off the page. Okay. Now come on the left, draw a straight line down off the page and on the right, straight line down off the page. Alright, come all the way up to the top and do a row of little straight lines going across. Come down and do straight line, straight line, straight line across. Come back on the top and do little straight lines, jump over, little straight lines, keep going. Come down on this space, straight lines all the way across, jump over, straight lines all the way across. Okay. Come down to this section over here, 
do a couple of straight lines you can fit come down on the bottom straight line straight line straight line straight line jump over straight line straight line straight line connect now fill these all in with straight lines going across jump over in straight diagonals on this side okay jump over straight diagonals on this side all the way down okay let me see if I got everything I think I did okay let's see how we're gonna color this in okay these entries I'm gonna color gray and all the stairs these are all stairs I'm gonna color these gray whoops I just forgot something I always do these are stairs lots of stairs straight line straight line straight line across now we can do this all right back to my gray so if you have a gray you can use a gray if you don't have gray you can use a light black but let's color in all of our stairs because this helps you see what you just drew because ziggurats have got a lot of different planes and levels okay so I did all of my openings gray or light black and this should be that color too okay stairways then my big base color I'm using apricot and again if you don't have apricot you can you really if you wanted to you could use pink you want a light tan color this is kind of like sandstone and all of this section should all be that color all the way across jump over all the way across this should all be sandstone apricot peach a lighter brown you could use light brown too and then this section is also part of the building and this should all be those colors keep going keep going keep going now just to show that this section is different I got a darker brown and I did my arches and my top of my stairwells with a darker brown just so you can see it in this archway then I got blue green and I colored my background sky blue green because there's so much going on with the actual building but you do want it to kind of pop so I use that turquoise blue all the way down and off the page okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my ziggurat all colored in a massive structure built in ancient Mesopotamia it's a pyramid temple and it's supposed to connect you to heaven and earth okay bye bye